Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Behind Closed Doors. Today is another opportunity for mystery, another chance to be genuinely surprised by a game we knew nothing about going into the video, another moment for us to potentially be terrified together. Before we get started with the video, I wanted to open up to you guys and talk a little bit about what I've been feeling recently. For some reason, I have been putting an immense amount of pressure on myself. I have a feeling with my content, no matter how much work I put into it, that I'm not doing enough. And I want to express this to you guys because I feel like that's going to help me work on this on my own time as well. If I'm not at work or at the gym, I'm basically constantly working on videos. And that could be anything from streams to shorts or the long form videos that you're watching now. I recognize that this is not a healthy mindset to have. I love every second I spend making these videos and having these experiences with you guys. But the pressure I'm putting on myself to feel like I constantly need to be doing more than what I am doing is not productive. And I know it's not what you guys want either. Discussing this stuff out loud really helps me, so I appreciate you guys kind of giving me the opportunity to do that. I think part of it is that I love what we have so much, and I don't want that to stop. So for some reason, my brain is telling me, hey, you need to consistently ramp up the pace, or you're going to lose this. And I know that that's silly. I hope this discussion made sense. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. And trust me, I'm not going anywhere. This is what I love to do. With that being said, guys, let's take a peek behind door number one. So our first game today is a game called Other Side. Um, I think it takes place in an apartment complex. I don't know the details. Okay. Movement, interaction, cancel interaction. Okay, very simple. I am so hungry. Let's see what I have in the kitchen. Our name is Lucas. Okay. So first things first, I want to take a look at the apartment. Books, old... CRT television, so I'm guessing this is maybe early 2000s. Interesting, very brown apartment. Um, everything seems to be made out of wood almost. Different shades of brown, basically. Um, but what we have here is not necessarily the standard PlayStation 1 aesthetic that we see. A lot of this well, I guess it kind of is, but it almost looks more of like a Vagrant Story style PlayStation 1 aesthetic. More, instead of just polygons, we have like pixelated textures and stuff like that. Which I think is really cool. Oh, someone dropped a tomato can. We have... Does that say Wickles Pizza? Wickles Pizza, interesting. I wonder if that's a reference to something, or maybe they just picked a random name. Okay, so do we need to do laundry? Why do I have bags of chips in the bathroom? Got the Irish Spring soap in the bathroom. That's a way to make your bathroom smell really good, by the way. Tuck in Irish Springs, open an Irish Springs bar soap and leave it in there for a bit. Those smell very strong, very clean. I don't know, just random tip. Okay, can we do anything here? Oh. Okay, we can't mess with that. Can we watch something on TV? Oh, well, here's some keys. Do we need that? Okay. To-do list. Get the keys, pick up the trash, go outside, get some food. All right, well, let's pick up some trash. Um, ooh, camera's a little finicky. Does this count? Yes. Lots of horror games start with you having to clean an apartment after a party or a get-together of some kind. And it's like they're setting you up for something unexpected to happen in a seemingly normal home. Let me just stand up on this coffee table here. Okay. Beer bottles. And bag of chips. All right. Let's go ahead and take out the trash. And... 
Get rid of it outside. Okay. I actually did not expect us to be going outside. It is very dark. Um, oh, okay, I don't know why I walked all the way out here. Yeah, that's, of course the trash can would be closer to the apartment. Okay, I should get to my car and drive to some burger joint. Uh, which car is mine? Wrong car. Hello? Is this mine? Yes. Uh... It won't start. Maybe my neighbor Matt can help. I should go back. Who is this? Hello? I don't... He's just... Staring at me, smiling? Matt should be home. Maybe look around, knock on some doors. Okay. Huh. Missing. Missing. Why are so many people missing? Urgent alert. Serial killer at large. Attention all residents. We, we regret to inform you that a highly dangerous serial killer is currently at large in our community. The individual has already claimed multiple victims, and law enforcement agencies are working tirelessly to apprehend them. We urge you to exercise extreme caution and remain vigilant at all times. So who wants to bet that our friend, beyond the fence, might be a serial killer? Because he was certainly creepy looking. He had that kind of like uncanny smile. A stranger's in the building? Take out the gun? What? How do we... You want to do this? Can I shoot? What? Why are we back at the apartment now? Okay, yep. Yeah. Alright, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... I don't know what really happened. Um, was that supposed to imply that I, this was a dream? And none of that actually happened, but... Then he actually comes to your door with a bloodied face, and it turns out it did happen. I don't know. Um, but I gotta admit, the ending got me. Okay, so behind door number two, we have a horror game called Sinister. This one seems interesting. I think this also takes place in an apartment. Noticing a theme here. Let's see. Sinister, April 17th, 1997, 1024 PM. This takes place in Ukraine. Monica cordially invites you to explore her new apartment and discover the exciting chapter of her life. Okay, what is going on? Objective, find Monica's apartment. That was a weird way to describe that. Oh, I love these visuals. And of course, we have a blinking mechanic. Great. Need to interact? Okay, let's find Monica's apartment. It's probably upstairs. Monica! She wants me to explore an 
exciting chapter of her life? I feel like that's a very weird way to describe that. Oh, here we go. Monica. Monica? Monica, you here? It's me. Can you please open? No answer. Maybe I need to call her? New objective. Find a phone and call Monica. I kind of wish the objective in the top left of the screen didn't blink. But it's kind of a minor complaint. Uh, what door was that? Okay, Monica? Are you there? Hey, Monica, are you home? I came by and it seems like you might be running a bit late or something. Is it alright if I come in? Could you let me know how to get inside? Thanks. Oops. My apologies. I'm running a bit behind schedule. I'm actually at the nearby shop picking up some pizzas for tonight. To enter, just give the door a push because it's unlocked. Why would you... Looking forward to seeing you soon. Why would you leave your door unlocked? Thanks, Monica. See you soon. Does anyone just leave their apartment doors unlocked? I'm extremely suspicious about this. New objective. Visit Monica's apartment. Okay. Well, I'm not... Necessarily sure. Oh, it, it's a bit bigger than I thought. Is that a phone? So is the only option to call the apartment phone and hope the right person picks up? Where's the phone? Something doesn't seem right. Oh! What is happening in this building? Where's the phone and who was that? Nikola Belinsky? Oh! God! Yeah, okay. Okay. Yep. I'm awake, I'm awake. Close Monica's main door and switch on the kitchen's radiator. Hmm. Oh, God. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Take a look at the five and ten. Listening once again. Hello? Try to stay safe in Monica's apartment? Safe? What? Stay safe from what? was Pennywise? Why is Pennywise here? Why is Pennywise here? Oh, I'm nervous. Hello? I hear... What is that? Hello? Is it coming from the apartment? Oh god. I, I, I need to leave. Is it coming from upstairs? No. Oh. Is it? 
But let's check downstairs. Pennywise is here. There's a woman here. Oh, God. I hear something. I hear a phone. I'm so confused. Wait, this is not... Monica's apartment. What was that a television of? Was it viewing someone? Is that someone else's apartment? Yeah, what- what is that? Alright, well, it's not... ...making any difference to me, to be honest. I don't know why... And who's whispering? I'm so confused. And why isn't Monica home yet? How late are you running? All right, we gotta find... What a- what's our current objective here? Hello? I keep hearing sounds. I don't know what to do. I feel like it's something to do with this apartment. I don't recognize that area. You see me? Is there anything there? I thought I saw something moving at first. Who opened the door? Oh god. Oh! I don't think I watched the TV for long enough before. I will kill, only kill, lots of blood. Okay, well, all right. That's a chair with no light source. That's lit. So the dialogue on the walls is certainly something. That is a hospital gurney, and that is a pool of blood. Now I'm in the chair. Is this Pennywise? Okay, dude. Alright, I think that's Monica, actually. It's not over? Uh, well, the phone's still gone. I wonder if that phone was ever really there. Okay. Why was Nicola's apartment the one? Monica from the kitchen. Hey, are you finally here? What happened? I've been waiting for you for an hour now. It's 11.34 p.m. Did you black out? Yes, I don't know what happened. I just arrived and I feel like I've been transported to another dimension. A girl was waiting for me in her apartment and suddenly my mind came back to the hall. So we're still our character. Okay. So I thought that 
the atmosphere and the jump scares that they did have were effective. Um, but the ending seemed to like, I don't know why that last part was in the game. Um, still an effective, scary free game though. Cool stuff. Uh, door number two for sure. Got me curious to hear y'all's thoughts on the game though. So here we have a horror game behind door number three called The Horror Within. This is apparently a game inside of a game. I have no idea what that will actually entail in terms of gameplay, but let's find out. Oh, a little cutscene. I can't fall asleep. I should get some cereal. Honestly, very relatable. Man, our movement speed is fast. I feel like I'm playing Doom. Serial hits so different as an adult. I've played... I've played a horror game on this series that has a house very similar to this. Hmm. I just got big deja vu. Okay, place the bowl on the table. Let's do that. Oop. Done. Do I need a spoon? Or do I just eat? Do I sit? So what do I need to do? Oh, we need milk, of course. It's like I've never eaten cereal before. Can I eat it now? Yes. <laughs> Maybe I could play that new horror game I bought yesterday. Well, they definitely have a minimalist setup here, but I respect that. Let's check the bathroom. No wall art or anything to look at. This... This house is very similar to a house I've seen before in one of these games. Let's go to the PC gaming setup. Wow, Windows XP. Alt is to look around? Uh... I don't like the fact that the... Let me do that. Press enter to start. It's called the horror. Oh, this is so weird. This is so weird. Okay, so E is still interact. And now I'm going to be checking around me constantly. Three star... Six circle. Okay, that's easy enough. I'm so nervous. Okay, the moon. Oh! Hello? Oh, that's coming from my game. Okay. I can't tell what's coming from the game and what's coming from the room around me do I just guess for this last one oh god four <sighs> okay so far I'm, I'm very impressed with this game and that's a key okay and now we can go and lock that door simple I'm gonna check around me ugh I don't like that they give me the option to do that. That's implying... Well, you know. A game within a game. They meant quite literally. Let's see if we can run Doom on this, huh? Speaking of playing Doom. And I can't open this either? Oh. And that's on the actual door. Okay. Hello? Oh, look at that sky. Beautiful. Are we in the desert? I must have heard wrong. Uh, no, you definitely didn't hear wrong. 
And look, the game's still running in the exact same spot. That's pretty impressive. Honestly. Oh, this is open now. Oh. Okay. Somebody's here. Interesting that there's actual puzzles, but they're very rudimentary, you know, nothing um very complicated. Oh, hello? I I swear to god I heard somebody behind me. I swear to god. Yeah, my heart rate's going crazy. Okay. Oh, God, I hope there's someone about. Did I lock the door? Huh? I don't know what I expected. I should check the fuse box behind the house. So my actual... My actual power went out. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I expected. I don't know what I expected. Okay. And where is this fuse box? And why are we in the middle of the desert? Not near any form of... Who's running? Okay, so... Where am I now? What? There's dice, a toilet, a fridge, with more dice. Under the bed. Under the bed? There's no... Are they talking about my bed? They are talking about my bed. What? So, chair, fridge, table, toilet. Oh, this game is cool. Okay, chair. Where is that? Why can I not find the chair? Chair, five. Fridge, which is four. Table, which is two. And then toilet, which I think had two, no, yeah, seven. And what is that gonna do? Right? Did that do it? Yeah, seven. What did I mess up? Chair. Fridge. Wait. Table... Could it mean the other table? Like this one? So eight instead of two. Let's try that. Bingo. All right. Perfect. Okay. I know there's going to be something here. Right? Yes?
I can barely see anything. Oh my god. This is my house. And now I'm playing... The game. <gasps> no! Oh! Okay, that was not what I... I thought we were playing as the creature. Okay, uh, all right. Um, that was surprisingly good. I thought that was a pretty ingenious idea. And it it went in a couple different directions than I thought. We've played some games before that are like, you know, you're playing a game where you're actually being hunted down. Um, but I thought the moment where it said, look under the bed kind of thing, and I look around the room and I realize there's not a bed, and I'm like, oh, they're talking about my bed in the actual house. Very cool stuff. The Horror Within, guys. Awesome, awesome game. I hope the studio makes another one maybe along the same lines. Um, I hope you guys had a fun time uh, experiencing these, these games with me today. I love hanging out with you guys. I love you guys very much. Please be safe, and I'll see you very soon. Thanks.